Oh, just in case you guys were wondering, my EMF protection finally came. You see? Hopefully I won't get a headache tonight. I mean, I have this, uh, what do you call it? Uh, this little orgone pyramid. I don't know if it actually works, but it sure is pretty. <laughs> it was only $30, so. Oh, shit. Come on, Vortex. There, there you are. Yeah, I, uh, I really hate technology. And you can spare me the lecture about, well, you use technology every day. Fucking duh, motherfucker. I, you think I don't know that shit? I mean, I know that all the technology is dangerous in some kind of way, but there is more danger in certain types of technology than other types of technology. This is obvious shit. But, but please give me a lecture so you can rationalize using your smartphone 25 times every hour, okay? Unnecessarily just to become even more brain dead than you already are, okay? Like, so many people, I think they're just jealous of me though. They're jealous of my sheer tenacity. They're jealous of my stubbornness, my unwillingness to compromise. Compromising is death, okay? Ooh, I hear John. I hear John. Wow, nobody's here tonight. That's crazy. John's here. That's all that matters. John, my favorite, my favorite white supremacist. <laughs> if you saw him, you'd understand. He was in, like, one of my videos, like, at the tail end of the video when he came and got me off the stage. He was like... I don't know what she's going to say. <laughs> really, really tall dude. Yeah, that's John. John Hickok from the popular YouTube channel all about firearms called Hickok 45. You should check it out. He's pretty cool. He's very funny too. Mainly because, you know, he thinks. That's all you got to do to be funny. You just got to think. And then everybody will call you names. See, look. See that? That's the part that they threw out. Luckily, we spent almost $100 on this restoration Bible. So we can get all the way saved. <laughs> but yeah, man. I'm really excited about my set. like my Mitch Hedberg set <laughs> it just makes me laugh like it's so ridiculous like it's just, it's just like it's just stupid jokes like really stupid jokes <laughs> but like I told everybody like whenever I do like a full set it's gonna be way more like George Carlin because I have all kinds of different comedy styles that I incorporate into what I do I'm way more like George and Bill Hicks but, um, I used to get compared to Maria Bamford. I mean, I get it. You know, we're both crazy, but she's fucking secular. You know, that's fine. You know, she's gonna burn hell, but that's fine. Um, she's still very talented, though. You know, never take away credit where credit is due. Very, very talented lady. Her, her jokes are like Sistine Chapels, you know, like she sculpts them. Like the way that she crafts everything is just brilliant. Um, I can't do that. <laughs> Maybe if I took medication and denied God, I could, I could do that. But, uh, <laughs> um, I just hate medication. It's not just like, like I hate it on principle. Like I've been on it. I fucking hate it. I hate being on it. I hate the idea of it. I hate the history of psychiatry. I hate the present state of psychiatry. I hate everything about it. It's fucking horrible. If you know the, the true purpose of psychiatry, if you know the history of it, like there's no way that you could possibly support it. 
And I think that the reason why people support it is because they're weak. And they haven't thought of anything better, you know? Well, <laughs> I just showed it to you, baby. This is it. This is the only self-help book, okay? This is the only self-help book. You know, and I use marijuana as medicine for a while. I mean, I see it as medicine. That's the way it's supposed to be used. But unfortunately, people don't know how to use it, and so they just get addicted to it. And then they end up in a fucking hospital because they don't know that the strain they're smoking is going to be super strong. And they end up watching some shit like Rick and Morty, and they have a fucking panic attack. <laughs> fucking duh. Ugh. I wish I could do, like, a whole tutorial on, like, you know, drug use. Like, this is how you use drugs. This is how you don't use drugs. Like, so many people, they have to either be pro-drug or anti-drug, and that's dumb. Like, why does everything have to be black or white in this country? Oh, yeah, because they make everything about race. Ha, huh? get it?